Sitting employee in 1970. I work at the mainstream library and a few other libraries in town. Two things surprised me about Newport News. One was that Main Street didn't seem to be an indiscernible city or even a town or a village. It was just there. <laughs> they found out about the city of Warwick. And the other thing was that there were still barns and cows. Because I came from uh, rural Kentucky. Um, and we, we lived here and moved away in 74, came back in 93. And of course, a lot of those things have changed. We never lost track of the city because we had relatives and friends here. So I noticed all along that many things had changed, but that there was a, a framework for the future and that there was clear plans to uh, have parks. And uh, the understanding that I think everybody kind of took for granted was that when it was no longer a uh, city work farm, that it would go back and be a public park and uh, various other things. I know the city also invested money in a plan for downtown Newport News that in some way just kind of got shoved aside years ago. And so that's another story. <laughs> I've attended church downtown for the past 21 years since I've lived on, at, 34, at 335 60th Street. Uh, I live in one of the two historic areas in the city, Hilton and North End Huntington Heights. This, these about, these areas came about by a lot of hard work by the citizens of getting us on the National Register. I, I'm, I want to say I perfectly agree with everything Angie said, and she's perfectly, certainly put the environmental and recreational and all of the aesthetic uses there, but I see it. We're concerned about constantly about housing values and the fact that our middle class is so-called middle class. It's all moving to Pocosa and York County and all, um, and, um, and there are lots of things the city can do that it has not been doing to raise the value of the houses that are already here, such as encouraging the residents and investors to use the federal and state tax credits for investing in North Huntington Heights and in Hilton. And uh, we, the ARBs have certainly helped us a lot in holding the values, but we need, we need people, the city council and city offices to be more engaged in this. We also need looking for new areas. Stony Brook comes to mind. To be on the National Registry, you have to be unique, which it was. It was built to be a modern house community with all kinds of architectural styles from the 50s to the 60s. And it has a historic connection because that's where the astronauts lived, as I found out when I worked at the Virgil Ackerson Library. So there's a lot of things that if you're concerned about housing uh, increasing and attracting more people to stay in Newport News, there are lots of things that can be done besides taking some of the only open waterfront that we have left. So I'm hoping that you will look at those things and leave this park as a park, expanding it and uh, making it a place for all citizens to, to come along because we know that one of the problems with a lot of children is drowning. So if you, you know, say we can't have it because they're going to drown, the other thing to do is to be sure that we have safe places for people to have recreation and, and various things like that. So I, I hope that you will take, you know, to heart and also making full disclosure. I don't want to go it, but there's a lot of rumors around there, probably about 10,000 rumors I heard myself. One which involved a lot of high fiving among a lot of the people <laughs> when the uh, city park, city farm was closed. So I think we need full disclosure and we need to work together as to how we can develop this. Thank you.